I, I just make this short comment. Please. From all of these, you know, sci-fi movies that we've had forever, what do aliens do? They have hyper technology, they come here, and then what do they do? They kidnap people and probe their anuses? They, you know, play tricks on people? I mean, what, how silly is that? They come down so you can see them and then they zip off? How silly is that? Why would they do that? If they have such high technology, they would never be seen. Why would they want to go pe peek around and then let, let us see a little bit of them and then disappear? I mean, it's just silly. It's just nonsensical. It's like, you know, no serious person should be considering such a thing. Doesn't, you know, what a waste of time. I don't want to say it's a waste of time because I, I find it very inter entertaining more than, I mean, I, I, I don't believe that there are aliens here. I mean, yeah, aliens here. There's a perfectly good question. Is there life elsewhere in the universe? You have something like the Drake equation you can criticize this way and that way seems to suggest there might ought to be life somewhere else, right? Did it evolve into higher forms of life? Next question. Next question, let me actually point out something here that everybody misses. So I think, yeah, if there are enough planets, blah, 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 probably life has evolved elsewhere because it evolved here. What about higher forms of life, right? Things that can swim and crawl. Sure, eyes, yeah, absolutely eyes. They're gonna have eyes, right? Evolution will give them eyes. Question, will evolution lead to high intelligence that can make technology, like spaceships? Answer, on Earth, there have been billions of species for billions of years. Think of all the dinosaurs over the entire period that dinosaurs existed. All that time, evolution was operating, and not a single one of them could even make a hammer. It is not, in general, an evolutionary advantage to have high intelligence. Cockroaches will long outlast us. They're evolutionarily better adapted to survive than we are. So the question is, in, in all the history of life on Earth, only one species has evolved enough intelligence to make technology of any serious amount. If you say, oh, you know, a monkey can take a stick and take off the leaves and get ants, yes. But I mean, serious technology, only one out of all those billions and billions and billions. What does that tell you? A hundred percent for sure. There is not a big evolutionary push for high intelligence. That raises the question, why us? And I think the answer is probably a combination, as people have said, opposable digits, right? I mean, what are you going to do with this intelligence? It's going to be so useful. If you, if you have pause, you know probably opposable digits, fine motor control, probably voices and being able to produce language. So you need voice boxes that can produce language. Maybe, you know, probably a combination of those. There was something unique in the evolutionary history of Homo sapiens that gave small increments of extra intelligence such a big survival advantage that it blew up our heads as big as they could go. It blew up our heads to the point where if they got any bigger, women would all die giving birth. That's also why we are neonates, right? We are born helpless, as everybody says, unlike a colt, unlike a puppy that's up and running around. We are helpless for years and we have to be looked after. Why? Because we're basically way premature. Why? Because our heads are so big that if they waited any longer, the mother would die. It's only humans where intelligence gave that kind of advantage evolutionarily. So if you ask me, hey, we just found a planet. We have all sorts of reasons to believe it's got plants. It's got, you know, organic molecules. Do you think it has intelligent life to the point that it could make te technology? I'd say probably not. Very unlikely. If that were a common thing, there'd be more than one intelligent species on Earth. 